Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous and Elite Dangerous Odyssey. It is the festive season and the second part of the Winking Cat 3307, December 3307 mystery has been revealed and has indeed been solved. This is Mystery Cash 4 um, and it was released Christmas Eve. So let's go and take a look how to decipher it, how to get there, what you get. So with all things in Elite Dangerous, it starts off with a spurious posting on Galnet. And with Galnet, you know, we've got these poems, we've had these poems before from the Winking Cat. And the Winking Cat does leave clues in the shape of some spelling mistakes. So we went through this particular poem. Minus 66, minus 95. These are the coordinates of the particular item you're looking for. Okay. So bear with me, this dropped on the 24th of December, Christmas Eve, 3307, good old winking cat. The glorious media of recent years, such interactivity, the schemes and the tears. We watch them within and watch them laid flat, sometimes with friends on selected formats. Oscar Goldson has made so many stars, the fame, the credits, the fine wine and cigars. Just sign on the line and you'll have it all, it just costs your soul to hang on his wall. Ethics in show business are rarely frowned, so bitter and hollow with morals around. Old Oscar may be the worst, so have a few things I took from his purse. Good old winking cat. So there are obviously spelling mistakes in here, and I've highlighted them when I went into a Word document that could highlight the spelling mistakes. So from that as well, we can also pick up something completely out of context, bitter and hollow. Now. Not too much of a stretch to wonder where this is going to. And if you're familiar with this particular system, you'll know straight away where it is. So in Word, I was able to pick up the spelling mistakes a little bit easier. So we've got A, M, L, all these different letters that we've pulled out and also bitter and hollow. So it's referring to bitter and hollow, okay, which is in the Epsilon Indie system. Now, we've been there before on this treasure hunt. You know what I mean? We've been around. So, time to get in the old Asp Explorer and get ourselves over there. So, with that, I've got myself over to the Epsilon Indie system. And as you can see, Mitterrand Hollow. Now, Mitterrand Hollow is unique, I think, in the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. Its surface of the planet changes light because it's rotating around the main planet, New Africa, I think it is, really quickly. It's not a case of having to land on this planet. It's kind of just getting in its way so you get captured by the planet's gravitational pull. Now, I tend to fly with the orbit lines off because I create the content. You can turn these on on PC by pressing the equals key, however. So here comes Mitterrand's Hollow. You see I've put on the orbit lines as well. You can see the trajectory of the planet coming around its mother planet. So we've got to try and get in the way of that, get captured by Mitterrand Hollow's gravity, therefore get sucked in and get carried along with it, as opposed to trying to chase the planet, which you can't possibly do in a ship because the ship will just not go that fast. Now, if you miss it, you'll have to adjust your flight path along the orbit line and then get it the next time round. Fortunately, it doesn't take very long for it to come back round. There's no point chasing it, like I said. So, once you've found out that you've missed Mitterrand's Hollow and you've got to reassess yourself and reposition yourself along the orbit line, it's a case of getting in there and waiting. I've been here a few times in my videos and it's a knack you get used to. You only really miss it once and then you work out what you've got to do. And once you've done it, you're away. Now you're looking for a crashed ship and it may not appear at first. So you can use your scanner to scan the surface of Mitter and Hollow for the winking cat cache. And once you've done that, it should show up. If not, you're looking for the crashed ship that is at the particular coordinates in the message. 
or you can search through all the different crash sites and crash ships and you're looking for the one that says exploration not salvage exploration not salvage so you'll see that when you get a little bit closer in and you'll see all the different crash ships on the surface of which there are several on Mitter and Hollow. So here we are on approach to the crash ship that we particularly want. This is the exploration one that the winking cat burglar has left the cache. You can see all the crash ships there. Select one, salvage, don't want that. It's the one that says exploration. So make sure you get that right. Uh, and that's a good little tip. On approach, it's time to take Marvel at this planet rotating around. It's one of the great spectacles in Elite Dangerous and Elite Dangerous Odyssey. And I haven't seen any other place where this kind of thing happened. There may be one or two, but I haven't personally seen them. On approach, you'll see that the surface lighting changes as the planet rotates. One minute you'll be in daylight, next minute you'll be in darkness. On approach, you'll see the crashed ship get in there land you know what to do make sure you've got yourself an srv get yourself on the surface plenty of great places to land and you'll see the crash site now the crash site is quite uninspiring to be perfectly honest with you there it is we've seen this sort of thing before a couple of containers a bit of broken hull all right but under the bit of broken hull you'll find a little srv Get into your SRV, whether it's a Scorpion if you're an Elite Dangerous Odyssey, or whether it's a Scarab and you're in Horizons. Get in there, give it a good detailed scan, and it will reveal a message from Oscar Goldson, and it will reveal a prize. Now, it's very difficult to keep your eyes on the prize and not on the fantastic scenery that's going on around you, but it will read. You will get 10 million credits. An Alliance Chieftain festive gold paint job and a yellow festive flak launcher module stored at Schneider Relay. Now these flak launcher modules don't do any damage. They're just firework shooters and they look pretty. It's a little bit of fun. The 10 million credits, not to be sniffed at. And also that festive gold wrapping paper um, paint job is something that you can stick on your ships next Christmas as well. Anyway, I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. This has been the Winking Cat. Mission 4, Treasure Hunt, Cash 4, whatever you want to say, of December 3307. Look out for more videos in the Winking Cat series. I'll see you soon.